Hello, hello, hello. You have found the Vintage Improv Festival Sunday Night Follies, the show that all the people are turning off the Olympics to watch. <laughs> Tonight we're going to have three shows for you. Uh, coming up later, we'll have the fine folks from the Upside Down Players, followed by those two clowns in the Rudderless group. But first, we're going to start you off with the Sonic Boom Boom. Take it away. I gotta say, I gotta say, Lucille, y'all uh -huh. looking great today. Oh, well, thank you, Margaret. I really appreciate that. I wasn't certain when I put on my, my new lipstick if it was a good color. It glows, it sparkles, it makes it makes me squint, it's so bright. Oh, that makes me very happy. I must say you're looking lovely yourself. But thank you, Lucille. I, I appreciate every uh, little tiny compliment that I can get. You know, this uh, this bus bench is uh, is getting uh, indented from my sitting in the same place all the time. Mine too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. You know, I, I got a confession, Lucille. Yeah, what is it, Margaret? I'm feeling a little jealous. You're feeling jealous? Why? How come? I'm feeling jealous because because of your lipstick is just oh. it's amazing. And I don't have anything as amazing as you have. Oh, honey, it's, it's just Maybelline. You can pick it up down at the Walmart, you know? <laughs> Maybelline. Maybelline, yeah. Well, what? No. <laughs> it looks like, like you know, the expensive ones you get to get at Macy's, but no, it's just Maybelline, dollar ninety nine. Well, you make it look expensive. Your face just fits it. Oh, <laughs> you're so kind. I appreciate that. I. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, I needed a compliment today, so thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. I got another confession. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm jealous of you. Of your happiness. Oh, really? <laughs> I I think you're so happy all the time. All the time. All the time. I came out of my mother being happy. I don't know. I believe you. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had that. Oh, it's not hard. Trust me. It's not hard. You can do it. Well, you make it look so easy, Lucille. Well, you know, it's just, it comes to like second nature. <laughs> Maybe by sitting by you, I can, I can osmosis wise yeah. absorb some of your happiness. Absolutely. You can, you know what, here, I'm going to give you my lipstick and you can put some of that on and then you can look and have, be as happy as I am. Oh, look at that. You look at you look so happy already. <laughs> I feel happier. Oh, Lucille, thank you for oh. sharing that. <laughs> My face hurts from smiling so much. Jeez, what's everybody so giddy about? Oh my gosh, Sharon, how are you? I haven't seen you in like a, a 24 hours. I'm so goddamn good, I can't stand it. I'm good too. I just was getting many compliments, so I'm a happy woman today. Well, you look beautiful. You really do. Yeah. I do, yeah. <laughs> I would like to look as beautiful as you, but I don't know how to do the makeup stuff, you know? Oh, I can show you. I've got all sorts of tricks. We'll just go down to the Walmart and we'll get some Maybelline and you'll be all set. Huh? Maybelline? Uh-huh. <sighs> Well, you know, that makes me break out in hives. Oh. I'm sure there's an alternative. Oh, um, um, uh, cover girl? Oh, cover girl, sure. Oh. Yeah, this is exciting. I haven't worn makeup since um, the last time my face blew up. Oh my gosh, I remember that. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, well, for you. 
you know, oh. but the emergency room was really hard to deal with. I know. Thank God they had those Zeppi pen things. And... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the woman with the enormous red face. Oh my gosh, that was a that was something else I gotta tell you. It was traumatic for me. <laughs> you know? But we all got a good laugh out of it, Sharon. I don't <laughs> I know. Yeah, we well, did. Well, I think the cover girl will be good because I used to see it in, in Vogue magazine. Thing. Yeah, Christy Brinkley. Christy Brinkley. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We could you know, put on our makeup and we could be the most gorgeous women sitting on this bench. I know I already am. And I think uh, that's right. Yeah, I have you and you'll, to go. Yeah. yeah, you know, we, there's hope for you. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there's my bus. <laughs> Karen. Yes. Sharon. What? Sharon. 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 How are you, Sharon? Sharon. And while I'm doing okay, I'm about to have a really exciting adventure with makeup from CoverGirl. An adventure with makeup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm well, not familiar Lucille, with adventures with makeup. Yeah. Well, Lucille looks absolutely stunningly stunning with her Maybelline on. And so we're going to get me with CoverGirl because, you know, I get allergic to most of the medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So when you have an adventure with makeup, is it sort of like a safari with makeup? How does that work? Well, there are no animals involved, only the ones in the test that do the test to make sure that, you know, the makeup isn't terrible. No, it's just an adventure. It's exciting. It's something new. You try out makeup. Try out makeup. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, we could make a whole career out of that. You know, we can be in those stores and we can have a big sign that says, try out the makeup. And customers would just flock to us, I'm sure. You don't look so convinced. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about what would be exciting about the trying out of makeup. Mm. Well, it can change your whole appearance. Yes, it could change your whole appearance. People and would then, react, people would react differently to you, Julia. Yeah, yeah, people could react differently to you, and your whole life could be different. Yeah, I mean, even even just a day. One day, I was playing with the lipstick, and I put it like all above the lips and all under, and they wouldn't serve me at McDonald's. And so when you have your adventure in makeup, you could try all kinds of new things. Yes. Yes. We can put eyeshadow on our lips and lipstick on our eyebrows. And, and people will react in all kinds of new ways. Yes, it will be an adventure because who knows how they'll react. Now you're talking. Because ah, people, see? people react in all that. kinds of new ways. Now that's fun. Now that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we start getting gray, of course, I'm there already. We can put mascara on our hair. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. What do you think you could do with concealer? Uh -oh. You don't want to just conceal things. That's kind uh -huh. of boring. Well, if we bought a whole bunch of it, we could conceal our whole selves. Think about that. Mm. Finally, an invisibility cloak. How about that? Total body concealing. Julia, that's that's the kind of adventure I want to go on. Oh, all right. All right. Well, I'm going to go write some stuff out about it because my mind is getting real creative now. See you soon. Julia. Yes. You walked away from me at McDonald's. I, I, I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you something important. 
I can tell you're listening. And I can I'm tell listening. you're really sorry that you walked away from me when I was in the middle of a sentence. I did. I did walk away from you in the middle of a sentence. I didn't realize. Someone was ordering a Happy Meal. Yeah. Well, I hope they were happy. Made me wonder. You are. You are full of curiosity. But right now, I got to finish telling you. Because I, if, I got to finish telling you what I wanted to tell you at McDonald's. And, and that is that I love our time at McDonald's. It's like an adventure. And you remind me of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> How's that? Your big red nose. <laughs> oh. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever told me. You're welcome. Well, so that was important to me and I wanted to be able to share that with you next time I saw you. Because Julia, you're very special. Uh, your smile is precious and and, and your, your fuzzy red hair is, your perm is incredible. I guess it is. I guess it is. You're not feeling it. No, I, I am. I am I'm taking not it feeling in. it. I, I, I am taking it in. I, it just means a lot to me from you. I'm trying to tell you how much I like you. You're so special. You're so funny. Your nose is so red. <laughs> You're not getting it. I am getting it. You're so important to me, Julia. You're so important to me. I'm taking it in. I just, this is how I take things in. You are seeing how I take things in. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, no, this is good. This is, this is what good looks like. <laughs> oh, Margaret, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> Why, Lu Lucille, uh, your, your lovely giggle is just, uh, uh, is untouchable. It, <laughs> it lifts my heart. It lifts my heart to be with you. No. People tell me that all the time, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. There's okay. something deep inside of you I'm feeling. I'm feeling something from you deep inside. <laughs> you got to really? share it, Lucille. You got to share it. Oh, geez. I don't know if I can. Oh, this is, this is deep. I can tell it's deep. It's deep, yeah, it's just, this isn't, when I'm at home, I don't act like this. <laughs> yeah, no. So we don't know the real you. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody does, no, it's just, yeah. This is the happy face I put on for the public. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, my life's a train wreck, um, Margaret. I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> oh, Lucille, I had, n I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a fake happy face. It's fake, totally fake. It's just, <laughs> yeah. That's why the lipstick, you had got a paint on the smile. I get it. Yes, it's a, yeah, it was a lip plumper too, so it made my lips look bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very good. It cover them up, the true you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a hard thing, but I, you know, I think I succeed pretty well. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling your tragedy through that fake smile. That's what I always loved about you, Margaret. You always, you always have my best interest at heart. <laughs> yeah. So I'm telling you, I'm I'm your friend. Uh, I I want to fix it for you. I want to do anything I can to make you not be so so hurting. 
it's all it's okay it's you know I'm I'm fine until I go home and I'm alone all night and through the night and in the morning and but <laughs> you know then I get to go to work the next day and I become this happy person oh you're so alone I'm feeling it <laughs> oh oh Lucille yeah. oh, Lucille just <laughs> oh, I'm feeling for you thanks Margaret yeah <laughs> yeah well I could call you every hour through the night so you wouldn't be alone Oh, that would be swell. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like that. You're welcome. Yeah, <laughs> you're awesome. I'm like a cat. I don't sleep through the night anyway. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Your your smile is, is I'm feeling the fake. I'm feeling it. I, I, <laughs> Lucille, I, I know you're unhappy back there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try to make it back up. It's just, it's, you know, the more you do this, it, like, it makes your cheeks kind of hurt. It's the funniest thing. Yeah, you're getting a little wrinkly, too. Yeah. Oh, what? I'm getting wrinkled? On your smile. Lucille, I had a creative genius moment. <laughs> What's that, Sharon? A creative, so creative, it just burst all out. Well, uh -huh. um, with your ha fake happy face. Yeah. And McDonald's Happy Meal? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to make you the new McDonald's mascot. Oh, come on. Big face on all those bags of Happy Meals. Oh, I love this. Days this is so great. Good. I am so oh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, like, can, can, are, is there going to be, like, a toy in my likeness in the Happy Meals? A uh, what? You know, because in the Happy Meals, you get a little toy. Oh, yes. Yeah. It will be a little, it'll be Lucille Bobblehead. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh with my your God. big, big smile. <laughs> Jeez, it's this so awesome. good. Yeah. I am legitimately happy right now. This really? is not an act. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we got to get you even happier because, you know, you got uh -huh. a stalker. Do you know you have a stalker? No. Yeah. Yeah. Margaret, she's, she stays outside your house at night. I've been watching her with my telescope. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're watching my house with a telescope? That's kind of weird, too. Well, I want to make sure your happy face is, you know, stays the same. It's all, it's all of the research I'm doing. It's nothing funky. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's but Margaret. Okay. okay. Well, you know, <laughs> this is, she offered to call me every hour on the hour during the night. See? <laughs> I told you. Boy, do you get famous as the new oh. McDonald's mascot. Wow. What do you Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. I'm thinking we can even get you on the Jimmy Kimball show. <gasps> yeah. I love Jimmy Kimball. I know. I know. Yeah. I, Your just life is just going to burst into wonderfulness. I'll, I'll take 50%. I don't even know how to thank you. You're just, just yeah. yeah. This is great. I'm going to go check the TV guide. Uh -oh. huh. I just had a moment. I'm just excited like I usually am. I don't know when this bus is going to come, but... It never comes as far as I'm concerned. You got to get to work eventually. Mm -hmm. I know. It's only been 45 minutes. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I sort of had a hard time behaving on the bus. No. Hmm? I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Sort of containing the excitement, you know. I like to make faces at the truck drivers and stuff. <laughs> After that last conversation about The invisibility cloak. Ah, yeah. 
And you, and you know, you can whip those things on and off. It's very convenient. So, so you give a finger to one of the drivers in the next lane, throw on your invisibility cloak, he complains and nobody knows who did it. <laughs> and thinking about how to use it on the bus. Just go for it. Of course, I would never have to pay fare anymore. Right. Right. That just I didn't think of that. Somehow that doesn't seem like a very ambitious usage of an invisibility cloak. If you wore your invisibility cloak and 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 went into Macy's, you could buy all of the cover girl makeup you wanted and just pick it up. And people would just see it floating by. I'm trying to get more excited about makeup. I know you're excited about makeup. I'm trying to get more excited about makeup. So far, the only thing that's been excited, exciting to me is your idea of using concealer for an invisibility cloak. Yeah. It'll take that's a good. whole lot of the concealer. That's the best. Yeah. That's the best. Stat at the top and go all the way down the bottom. Disappearing, disappearing. Mm -hmm. Think of the places you could go and no one would know. <laughs> On the bus and not pay fare. But I know there's got to be something better than that. I just can't think of what it could be. I know there's got to yeah. be something. I'm going to, I'm going to think about it. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, Margaret. I've been seeing a lot of you walking around Lucille's house night after night. This is a surprise, Sharon. Sharon, I, I, I never get to see you. Ah. It's like you've been invisible. Well, I'm working on it. You're working on it. Yeah. You're always working on something. Yeah, you gotta get your mind. Keep it, keep it liquid. That's intriguing. You're very intriguing, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm even more intriguing when I'm invisible. Well, it's surprising when you suddenly appear, but if you're not visible, then I don't know whether you're you're listening to me or whether you're near me or whether I'm alone or whether you're secretly spying. <laughs> I would say all of those things. All of those things. Mm -hmm. You're amazing, Sharon. Amazing and intriguing. I think that's what you said. Intriguing. <laughs> And you're a good people person, whatever that means. Well, thank you, Sharon. I, I'm trying to figure out if that's the real Sharon or if you're if you're just a fake Sharon. Oh, I never I never let anyone borrow my invisibility cloak. So it's the authentic Sharon that I got right before me. Totally. Hundred percent. You know, I think uh, I think you you are a cover girl girl. You know that Maybelline never would work on you. No, you heard about my face blowing up. Well, yes. Yeah. Poor thing. Well, I'm I'm making thinking about it makes me nervous. I'm gonna go wash my face, make sure there's nothing left. Okay. You're full of surprises, Sharon. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
And that's our show. Yay. That was wonderful. Listen, let the members of Sonic Boom Boom or Sonic Boom 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 introduce yourselves. I'm Michelle from outside Boston. Lynn from Rotunda West. And I'm Joe, also from outside Boston. Susan, outside Boston. And that was a wonderful show. Thank you very I'll much. See you. Bye, Bye everybody. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Stay John. Uh, coming up next will be the Upside Down Players. And stick around. Thank you, Xander. Bye.